What's up guys, this is Mohamed. And just yesterday, DJI released an exciting firmware for the Mavic Air 2 that enables digital zoom in its 4K, 2.7K, and 1080p modes. So today I'm going to compare them and see how they fare in clarity and resolution compared to just cropping the footage afterwards in post. So in addition to all these fixes and new features, DJI has added up to two times digital zoom in 4K resolution up to 30 frames per second, up to two times zoom in the 2.7K resolution up to 60 frames per second, and up to four times zoom in its 1080p mode up to 60 frames per second. So upon updating your firmware, you will find that there are new modes added to the video section in the menus. Now there is a 4K wide option and there is a 4K zoom option. So 4K wide is the original 4K mode. It has all the frame rates between 24p all the way up to 60 frames per second. When you select 4K zoom, it will initially go into what I think is a 1.3 times zoom. 2.7K remains the same because you can choose all the different frame rates that it had before, even with the zoom. So when you select 2.7K, all you have to do is press that zoom button. And it's the same thing with 1080p. It goes from one times, two times, three times, all the way up to four times digital zoom. So with this test, I did not move my drone at all. I tried to shoot the same shot with the same static subjects. The idea is that if you're using these digital zoom modes, then you can't physically get close to that subject. Because if you could get closer to the subject, then that's what you should do instead of using these digital zoom modes. So for these comparisons, I will always have the wide shot on the right side and the zoom shots on the left side. And just for a framing reference, here's the 4K wide mode, which is 24 millimeters. Here's the 1.3 times zoom, which is around 31 millimeters. And here's the two time zoom, which is 48 millimeters. Now in 1080p mode, here's the wide mode, which is 24 millimeters. Here's the two time zoom, which is 48 millimeters. Here's the three time zoom, which is 72 millimeters. And here's the four time zoom, which is a whopping 96 millimeters. So starting with the 4K modes, I have the 4K wide option on the right side and the 4K 1.3 times zoom on the left side. And as you can see, the 1.3 times zoom is much more clearer than the 4K wide mode. Now here's the 4K wide mode on the right and the 4K two times digital zoom on the left. I'm again zoomed in at 200% in the 4K wide mode and at 100% in the two times zoom. And look at that, the two times zoom is so much better and so much clearer than the 4K wide mode. This is really, really impressive. This is effectively giving you three focal lengths in 4K. The only other Mavic drones that give you different focal lengths are the Mavic 2 Zoom, which has an optical zoom lens, and the Mavic 2 Pro, which has a crop mode. But now you have it in the Mavic Air, and the results are really, really impressive. So for the 4K mode, I would say, hands down, if you need to shoot something that's further away, instead of shooting just normal 4K and then cropping in post, use the digital zoom. Now, moving on to the 2.7K mode. I have the 2.7K wide mode on the right and the two times zoom on the left. And I should say this is shot at 2.7K at 60 frames per second. And I would say the differences here are not as pronounced. The two times zoom looks slightly sharper than the one on the right than the 2.7K wide mode, but that's about it. It's not as big of a difference as it was with the 4K modes. Now moving on to 1080p. I shot this at 1080p at 60 frames per second. And the default wide mode is on the right. And on the left, we have the two times zoom mode. And as you can see, we have the same story here. The two times zoom is much more clear. Moving on to the three times crop. And it's the same. The three times crop is so much more clear. Just see how much more clarity the zoom mode has. And that is incredible. Now here's the four time zoom on the left. And for reference, I've zoomed in the wide mode into 400%. And as you can see, the differences are huge. So whatever DJI is doing with this digital zoom mode, it's working. You get much better results shooting with the zoom modes in camera rather than just cropping the footage in post. And this is awesome that DJI is doing this. They're adding new and exciting capabilities to an already excellent drone. And I think we should really commend them for it. The Mavic Air 2 is already an incredible drone. They didn't really need to add any more features to it, but they have done so and they have made an already very good drone even better. 
So with the addition of the safety flight mode, the digital zoom modes, the 4K resolution and hyperlapse and optimized FPV mode for the gimbal, this is an awesome, awesome update. Now the only thing that's missing is the ability to change settings for the picture profiles. This is something that we were able to do with the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro, but it's not in the DJI Fly app. I wish we could alter the contrast for the decent alike mode to get even more dynamic range out of it and to be able to change the sharpening of the picture profiles. Because as it stands, I feel like the Mavic Air 2's footage is a little bit over sharpened. It's not a huge deal, you can always unsharpen it in post, but I do really want the ability to change the picture profile settings in the next firmware. So DJI, make it happen. But this update, I'm all for it. This is an awesome update and DJI should be commended for it. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it and found this informative. Please leave a like on this video. Let us know what you think in the comments. Go back and watch all my other videos, including my first impressions of the Mavic Air 2, which just came out yesterday. And subscribe to my channel. Till next time.